In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a free look camera inside Unreal Engine. So let's get started. All right, so to start off, we're going to go to our third person character, open it up. Inside here, we are going to need to add another variable, make, and this is going to be a Boolean, and we are going to call it free look. Next, we are going to go over here and search for left alt because we want it to be the left alt key you can make it be you can make a key binding for it but for the sake of the tutorial i'm just doing the left alt key and so now we can drag in our free look variable and oops we can set it instead of getting it set it and then copy and paste it for the second one now there's two ways you can do this. You can do it where you press and release free look. So when we press it, we want it to be true. When we release, we want it to be false. What this will do is make it where the player has to hold down the ONC key. But if you want it to be toggle, then you can simply drag off of pressed and do a flip flop. And then make your A be true and your B be false, something like this. If I disconnect that, this would be toggle. But if you just want it regular where you had to hold it down, then just connect it up as you see here. All right, so that's one of the challenging parts out of the way. And so now we can head on up here to the movement input. Every project has this by default. So, don't worry about any of this other stuff. You will have this one for sure. And so, now we are going to have to scoot these back a little bit. Because we have to add some stuff in between here. And hold. And one of these things we're going to add is a branch. So, hold down B and left click. And it will add in a branch. Hook this up to the move forward. And then set the false to the add movement input right here and then drag in your free look and connect this up to your branch and then come down here hold down B again left click hook this branch up to this one set it to false and connect your free look up once again so now we're basically going to be copying and pasting all of this but to get an idea of what it's actually doing is this is using the control rotation of the actual pawn itself so it's getting its forward and right vector from that so whenever we hold down w and we move the mouse it keeps going in the direction of the mouse rotation basically however what we want to do is we want the character to keep going in the direction it's already going if that makes sense whenever we enter the free look mode so to do this, we are basically going to copy all of this, these, these six nodes. So copy and paste right over here. And then go ahead and drag this out a little bit. And then drag in your capsule component because we want the direction of this. And then off of this, we are going to do the world rotation right here. And then plug this up to your rotation. And so now we are taking it away from the controller rotation. And moving it into the actual capsule component rotation. So now we can hook up our true statements. All the way over here to our add movement inputs. And same thing for this one. Move it over. Hook it in. And you can double click these little lines. You can double click them. And it adds a little node that you can move wherever you want. So it just tidies it up a little bit. Makes it look a little bit neater. It's not required for the tutorial, but it just makes it a little bit nicer. Alright, so once you have those lines connected, we also need our scale value. Which is the axis value right over here. Because you notice these have them plugged in. So once again, drag these lines all the way over to those nodes and same thing for this one drag it all the way over here 
and then tidy them up if you'd like. Just make your little lines, drag them down a little bit. Some stuff can get pretty jumbled, but something along those lines is fine. And now we need to, since we added more to the movement input, we're basically done. All we need to do is comment this and just name it something like free look movement input. It's literally the same comment. I just put free look in front of it. So now if we compile and save, then we should be good to go. So back here in the viewport, if we press play, you can see we run around like normal, holding down W. But then if we hold down Alt, we keep running forward. But our character, or we keep, our character keeps running forward, but we can free look around wherever we'd like. And the rest of the inputs still work. Turning left and right still works. Whenever we press the Alt key, we can still turn left and right if we desire while we are free looking. So yeah, if you enjoyed or found it useful, subscribe, leave a like, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.